Hi, my name is Josh Friedberg. I am the CEO of USA Skateboarding, and we're here today to talk with Richie Battress about transgender skateboarders. Richie, Hi. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. Thank you, Josh. So you heard about the contest, and you filmed your line. You submitted it for the women's division of the National Championship Street Contest. Tell me a little bit about that moment that you, you press submit. That, that's funny because that is the moment where it all kind of came to me. And it wasn't up until I got my line. I almost choked. I was like, I'm, I'm not going to do this, guys. Like, that's when I kind of figured it out. It was like, oh, this is kind of out of out of the natural. I guess it's against the grain in some sort of way. I almost didn't do it, but I just... Uh, I just knew it was right. When I got the entry and I saw it come in, we haven't had to have a process in place for transgender skateboarders yet. You're the first one that's that's entered a contest that we have sanctioned. Um, so I had to really sit down and figure out what, what that process was. And I reached out to you. I just said, Richie, I really appreciate you entering the contest, but I don't know what what the rules are right now and I need to figure that out. So I talked to the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee to get advice on what to do in this situation and talk to other national governing bodies. And then I was able to kind of get to what appeared to be the best way to determine the path forward, which is the, the current International Olympic Committee rules on transgender athletes in Olympic competition. How did you feel when, when I hit you back and said, these are the rules, there's some specifics that we have to follow because of where we are in the Olympic movement? There's a lot of excitement, but a lot of fear because of the, the nature of it. I, I thought I had it, you know, like I'd, I've never been asked to prove my femininity to anybody. Um, so I, I didn't think it'd be a problem. It wasn't until it was like time to get the tests to continue into the competition that I realized I wasn't gonna be able to. And that's kind of when I guess the feelings started. <laughs> at the end of the day, at USA Skateboarding, we work on the idea of skateboarding for all, and that doesn't have anything to do with gender. How do you express yourself alone when, you know, talk about the hiding and what and how you were hiding, essentially. Rob. <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, what, with whatever you're comfortable with, I mean. 